in this module we would further look at the concept of tawarruq and its application in islamic banking and finance we have already given one example of tawarruq in our previous module and this module would be an extension of that one when we looked at the structure of a tawarruq based personal finance facility many of you might have got this impression that this was a very lengthy process lengthy in the sense that the bank is buying a commodity from a commodity broker one then selling it to the customer and the customer then selling it to another commodity broker and it may take ages actually that isn't the case tawarruq is an instant product and in this world of the it revolution the technology allows islamic banks to execute tawarruq in a matter of minutes or in some cases if the bank is very efficient in a matter of seconds so the complicated nature of tawarruq on the paper should not discourage islamic banks and other institutions involved in islamic banking and finance to use tawarruq actually now it is the ease of use of tawarruq electronically that this has become a preferred choice of many islamic financial institutions including islamic banks however i must caution that the critics of islamic banking and finance still consider tawarruq to be a bad islamic product let us relook at the structure customer is in need of cash it goes to an islamic bank an islamic bank buys the commodity x from a commodity broker one and sells it on to the customer on a murabha basis or on a deferred payment basis the customer then sells it in the market through another broker broker two to generate some cash so there is a movement of commodity from here to there so this is the direction of the movement of the commodity the price the money actually moves from here to there and then it moves from here to there eventually it moves from the customer to the islamic bank with some profit actually something happens in between and we called it undisclosed activity because commodity broker 1 and commodity broker 2 they are in the same market they are listed on the stake exchange as uh, on the same exchange and hence there is a possibility undisclosed possibility that commodity broker 1 actually gets the commodity from maybe broker um, uh, broker 2 to start with but we don't go into those details what i am trying to say is that the commodity movement takes place like this and the price actually goes from here to there to there now in case of uh, tawarruq a number of uh, steps are involved first thing of course like any other product is uh, making the application when i need cash i would go to an islamic bank and would fill in the application form to get this personal finance facility if my application is approved uh, i would be then offered this facility the bank may ask me to open an account with it because having an account with the same bank would help the bank to execute the whole thing rather efficiently so if i am not already uh, a 
an account holder with the bank, I might be asked to open an account. So for that, I will have to fill in the account opening application form. Then there is execution of purchase of commodity by the bank from the vendor. And of course, then the bank would be selling that commodity to me, to the customer on deferred payment basis. So one, two, three, four, five. These steps can take place very quickly. In the days of COVID, if someone cannot go to a branch, you can do it over the internet, you can call the bank or through any other electronic means. In fact, some Islamic banks are offering this kind of services now through WhatsApp facilities as well. Then the sixth step is execution of sale of commodity by customer. Once I have bought the commodity, I would like to sell it to a commodity broker, in our example, commodity broker 2. Once that happens, the funds are transferred into my account. And uh, of course, afterwards, I would have to start paying the amount of debt in monthly installments. The whole transaction may take a few minutes. If I go to an Islamic bank offering a tawarruk based personal finance facility, I just go to this relationship manager. The relationship manager would ask me to fill in the form, which would be probably three minutes, two minutes. Once I have filled in the application form, while sitting there in front of his computer, the relationship manager would ask the commodity manager, commodity trade manager within the bank to execute this transaction with the commodity broker one. Okay, and the amount would be known and this would be done electronically through the computer in a matter of less than a minute. Then the second transaction, which is the sale of the commodity to me, that would take place very quickly as well. Now Islamic banks are using tabs. So all these things would be taking place on the tab with my signatures. Okay. And end result would be that would be that I would be involved in a few commodity trades, but the end result, the final result would be I would be having access to this cash which is very badly needed.